Rewind. A handful of ages to a time when cliffs had younger faces. To a time when we didn't need breaking news because we had prophecies. Scintillating divinity covered itself with a thin layer of dust and walked and looked and sweated and talked like the manual laborer least of us. Locomoting like a pedestrian, they asked who he was even though the words proceeding from prophetic lips and events were actually his reputation preceding him. Like Exodus in a basket. Like God's promises foretelling a ram caught in a thicket, replacing me beneath a falling knife like my name was Isaac. When Joseph looked at his wife's stomach, wondering how to raise the son of God, I wonder what he thought. Not knowing that it was going to be that babe raising him from beneath the sod, he must have felt like he was looking at storm clouds. Pregnant with saving rain, ready to bring the life back to the parched deserts in our chests. I wonder what he thought when he looked at his savior, his highness, incarnate salvation wrapped in the frame of an infant, wrapped in swaddling cloth and Mary's arms putting death grips to shame. He must have thought, how could the creator of the universe fit inside of a child, and why? How king and kin could share the same flesh at the same time. How God himself could sit inside their humble abode and bow his head and close his eyes with them before dinner. The interrogatives with which you initiate your inquiries have no place in this town called Belief. They're from the city of human logic. And in the greater scope of things, my reason is a sputtering flashlight compared to the brilliance of the sun. I have to put my mind aside in order to trust in things that I can't understand. And I'm not here to explain, no. Because man ain't even familiar with his own oceans. I'm just here to say, do the things that don't make sense. Risk being called an idiot by the people who call faith a genetic defect. And you better be ready to dive off cliffs into canyons for promises of eternity encased in vessels of leather and paper. And trace every word they're in with your finger as you whisper, I believe. And trust a God that will drag you sideways and spin you counterclockwise, blindfolded. And it's funny how only in retrospect that you realize that all your stumbling was actually dance steps.